Um, are you guys seriously going to be holding a wedding in the middle of nowhere next week? Is it because you guys couldn't afford anywhere? Oh, hi Elise. We had money to pay for the venue, but don't have that much money like you and Mike. Of course not! We run a company so rich, it's an embarrassment to be related to you guys. Please don't say that because Luna is your husband's little sister. Don't you love her? Mike and Luna rarely talk to each other, and also I don't want to waste my time getting to know someone poor. Did you send me a message because you wanted to say that? I was just worried about the wedding fee. Were you able to pay for it? I think it costs a lot of money, right? Well, it did cost a good amount. I might have used up most of my savings. Oh, so I'm guessing that even if you guys add up all your savings, you'll barely have enough for one wedding, right? I think it's because you guys aren't taking your job seriously. We might not be giving her all, but it's great working outside in the sun. By the way, you seem really busy working in the city. Yeah, I need to go a lot of places in one day. Oh wow, I really respect you. I'm a businesswoman, unlike you, who just grows vegetables, which anyone can do. You don't understand how hard my job is, right? Yes, I don't know. Luna and I also really don't go to the city also, so... If you're a farmer, why not use a truck and do business on your own? We want to, but we don't know anything about what a salesperson does. All we do is focus on making delicious vegetables. If you don't know anything about it, then how are you going to sell your vegetables? Oh, wow. Can't believe people like you are going to be part of my family. No wonder Mike doesn't listen to you. I just don't know things. It's embarrassing. Yeah, because you didn't graduate college, right? Anyways... I will go now since I've had enough of your stupidness. Um, good luck with the cheap wedding, which I probably won't go to. Excuse me? Did Elise say something to you? Yeah, how did you know? You seem a little down. I actually got a chat from her this morning. Like, making fun of you? Yeah, she said something like, poor farmer. What the hell does she want to do? I think she's full of herself since she's working at a big city. I mean, I was too when I worked around there when I was younger. You were young. She's almost 40. Are you serious? Can you talk to Mike about her and explain how ridiculous she is? Why? I haven't talked to him for years. I can talk to him for you. I just thought I needed to tell him because I want to have a better relationship with him. As a family and also business-wise. I just don't want the wedding to be ruined because of her. It's okay. I will contact him, but... Can I think about it? Sure, but why aren't you getting along with him? It's more like he forgot about us. His missus got successful 10 years ago and he hasn't come home since, so... Oh, I see. So it's kind of hard to reach him, right? But since you sent an invitation, he might come. I hope so, but the problem is, is if he comes, then Elise is coming also. I can't believe that I need to think about a lot of things for my wedding. Why don't we just relax and watch a movie drinking wine? Sounds good? Yes. Thanks, Emmett. Today is your wedding! 
It's the only day you could be the center of attention. Good for you. Yeah, I've never seen this much people in a very long time, so I'm excited. What a pitiful life you've lived. But unfortunately, you will not be the center of attention today. What do you mean? We don't want to waste our time going to the wedding because we don't belong there. Wait, we? Who? Um, our relatives? We just don't want to breathe the same air. You are so rude, but just want to say that everyone is here except for you and Mike, actually. What? You should know your place before you make fun of others. Who do you think will listen to you? Wait, everyone is there? Yes, I'm so glad. Why would anyone go to a poor farmer's wedding? Everyone betrayed me! You're not in elementary school, please. No one will listen to you because they're all grown-ups. Are you telling me that I'm a kid? Yes, what? Are you not? Shut up! Do you know who you're talking to? I just want to warn you that I can ruin your life easily, so you shouldn't say things like that. I don't think you can do that, though. Excuse me? I work at a big city unlike you who work in the middle of nowhere. I have connections with a lot of people, so I can make your farm go out of business. It looks like you're proud of working in a big city, but don't you just work part-time as a deliverer? What? It's an important job, I know, but just wondering about the connections you have. You work part-time, so I thought that you wouldn't want to have much people. You started from the end of last year, right? Um, can you stop joking around? I'm a businesswoman. I even showed you my business card once. That business card was a different person of the same name. You probably made a delivery to that company and found out her name was the same as yours when she signed the receipt, so you asked for her business card, right? How do you know about this? I heard that you were showing off that business card in various places and also used it to pay taxes, right? You've done things that are so easy to research. Research? Okay, you know what? I will tell Mike about this. Sorry, but I need to ruin your farm. Before telling Mike, you need to do something about this. You used a business card that's not even yours. Don't you think that this is a criminal act? Do you have proof? Yeah, I met with the real Elise and also talked to the company about this. I'm actually with a lawyer right now to talk about how much damage misuse of this business card is. Hold up. Lawyer? What? You used her card to pay later at the bar you go to, since they'll think that you're able to pay, right? Also, you registered on a dating app using her info. You tried to connect with the CEO of different companies. It's not cheating, but what you did is still unforgivable. Wait, how do you know so much? The CEO that you met about two weeks ago is an acquaintance of mine, and he's here. What? Are you joking with me now? No! He divorced his wife five years ago, so I thought it was sad and started the dating app. Oh, and he knows Mike also because he used to work under him. He's asking where Mike is, by the way. Mike is not going. But it's his little sister's wedding. Whatever. He is saying that he's not going. Really? Did you even tell him about this? I think that you threw away the invitations, right? You really don't want to be relatives with a farmer, huh? Exactly. Wait! I just turned on the TV, but what the heck is this? Oh, did you see? Since there are celebrities and CEOs of different companies, there are lots of cameras right now. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'm so confused right now. Our vegetables are used at famous restaurants, and we were actually able to write cooking books for our vegetables. I didn't expect it to be this way. I'm so happy. I can't believe this. Wait, is that Mike on TV? Yep, Luna contacted him. We're actually business partners because he uses our vegetables for his restaurant. He was pissed that you threw away all the invitations, by the way. Well... 
That's because I thought that Luna wasn't close to him. That doesn't mean that you can throw it away. I'm so sorry for that. Wait, I'm going to the wedding. I didn't know that you guys were this famous. I want to apologize to Mike also, so I'm going. I have the invitation, so I should be okay, right? It's going to take a long time to get here from where you live, so I don't think you'll make it on time. It's okay. I'm going there right now. Sorry, but the wedding is going to start, and even if you do come, you can't come in. Mike also told me that he's going to divorce you. What? Wait! I can't believe this! I'm going no matter what! Even though I won't make it to the ceremony, there's the after party! I told you, you can't come in! You just want to meet people and make connections, right? Whatever! Tell me the address right now! You won't know even if I tell you, because it's in the middle of nowhere. Somehow she was able to make it to our wedding, but since she was a stranger and didn't have the invitation, she couldn't get in. After the ceremony, she apologized to Mike many times, but since there was the incident about the invitation and the dating app, he divorced her. About the misuse of the credit card, the real Elise demanded compensation to the fake Elise, but since fake Elise didn't have any money, she left the city with the granny bike that she used for work. I don't know what she's doing now, but I wonder how she thinks about herself now. On the other hand, we got married and are still successful farmers. Mike and Luna were able to communicate since the wedding, and Mike comes over to hang out sometimes. I'm glad that everything turned out okay. Hi, Sarah. It's been a while. Remember the person I introduced to you at the company birthday party? Well, we've decided to tie the knot and we're looking at the wedding around seven months from now. It would be awesome if you could make it. Hey, Ava. It's been so long since we last talked. So you're tying the knot. I can't believe you're getting married ahead of me. Honestly, I'm astonished too. Also, I find it hard to imagine you won't wed Mr. Nur from college. Instead, you go ahead and support yourself with a hotshot employee from a large construction firm. You're so cunning to get married before I do. Was it supposed to be a competition? We only happened to cross paths at work. I thought for the longest time you'd end up living a simple life with Mr. Nerd. Are you talking about David from college? He had to move for work reasons. We both knew a long distance relationship wouldn't work, so we decided to end things. Right now, I have no clue what he's up to or where he is. So, now you've got this amazing guy who works for a big construction company. And you're engaged to him. I remember you showing me a picture of him. Ah, <sighs> life can be pretty unfair sometimes. All I want is to marry a wealthy, strong man, leave my career behind, and be a stay-at-home spouse. Is that the only reason you want to get married? Marriage is crucial. Women discover satisfaction through marriage and a leisurely home life. If you were a housewife, you'd probably be rather busy anyway. Don't you have a boyfriend? Of course. Every week, I try something new. You know. <laughs> Yesterday, I met a nice brunette. By the way, I'm going to choose whoever I think will make me the happiest if I marry them. I'm going to act as if I didn't hear anything. Since this entire circumstance is completely beyond the bounds of my morality. When did you say that you would wed? Seven months from now? Yeah, seven months. I only need to get married within the next seven months. Then, why do you say that? Then I'll be the first to get married. Okay, sure. Anyway, should I send you an invite? Sure, send it over.
Ava, I need to discuss something with you. What's wrong? I have just finished work and I'm on my way home. Did something happen? I don't think I want to get married. What? Why not? You are aware that before getting married, most people get a bad feeling. Well, I've lately been struggling with a lot of uncertainties and anxiety about getting married. You have no feelings for me? Look, I've been having trouble with this for a month, and I've had plenty of time to reflect. When I'm feeling this way, I'm not sure whether getting married is the correct decision. And I believe that feeling like this indicates that I'm not ready. This was a misstep in my opinion. A misstep? But it was you who asked me to marry you. Why suddenly change your mind? Also, the whole wedding has already been arranged. I've already invited all of our relatives and friends. Yeah, but... You pushed on having a wedding. Even after I informed you I didn't want one. And you continue to declare your steadfast desire for one. I don't want to wed you. This relationship should end. I'm sorry. And I don't want to put the effort and money that go into a wedding on you. Do you actually feel that way? You really want this? That's why I want to stop talking right now. Honestly, I skipped work today so that I could pack up everything. I'm relocating. Wait a moment. This has happened entirely too quickly. Can we at least discuss this face to face? I've already given this a lot of consideration and I'm certain that this is what I want. I want you to understand that. Why have you chosen to end a relationship without even speaking to me first, when there are two of us? Let's end this because that would be a terrible idea. With things as they are right now, we cannot get married. Even if you really choose to terminate things, we must first talk about it. I don't need to talk to you about anything. I'm leaving. Are you for real? You're really going to end a relationship over SMS messages? In order to start over, I'm blocking your phone number. Please refrain from calling or visiting me at work. If you do, I'll file a lawsuit to hold you accountable. As you are aware, I am employed by a reputable business. That suggests I am aware of a skilled attorney. I'll have one of them get a restraining order against you if you make any attempt, or I'll have you fined for stalking. You've got to be joking. Why do you make all the decisions without consulting me at all? You've wanted to stop this relationship for a long time, right? It's all your fault. Stay away from me. You just wouldn't quit pestering me about getting married. You caused me to feel confined. To be honest, I was considering suing you for harm to my mental health. But I guess I'll save that for last. You should be appreciative that I chose not to pursue this in court. You were the one who consented to it. James! Are you kidding me? James! Hello, Ava. I got word that the engagement was over. What's happening? How did you discover? I'm not really in the mood to message anyone. As soon as I've had a chance to consider everything, I'll contact you. Instead of canceling all of your bookings for the wedding, why not give them to me? Huh? I don't understand what you mean. I'm tying the knot. You're aware that I only work part-time, which results in my low income. And even though my fiancé works well-paying jobs at a reputable construction company, he doesn't want to spend money on a wedding. Therefore, we don't have a lot of extra cash. That's why I was considering giving me your reservations if you were going to cancel them all anyhow. What? I'm completely perplexed. Do you believe that canceling a $10,000 wedding is a waste of money? 
Why don't I do you a favor and be married in the location you selected? To avoid having to call off the whole event. Of course, you would have to pay for the wedding. However, to be fair, you were expected to pay for the whole thing from the beginning. So what changes if I use a venue instead? Wait, wait, wait. How did you discover the estimated cost of the wedding? How would you discover that I was the one who was making the payment? You said that you were getting married to a well-known construction firm employee who disliked paying for weddings. It looks like you got it. It's exactly what you think. Your former fiancé and I are engaged. What? Are you referring to James? You must be joking. Only yesterday did we call off our engagement. How are you already engaged? Don't worry. I'll explain everything to you. James is my alter ego. Alter ego? Do you recall how you told me everything about your upcoming nuptials? The next day, I waited in front of James' office, mostly out of curiosity. Have you been following him? I reasoned, why not attempt to converse with him? We immediately clicked after that. We started dating almost instantly after that. What? I just wanted to see him at first. You know, I think I was fortunate since I wasn't even sure whether I'd be able to run into him while waiting outside his office because he emerged shortly after I got there. It had to be destiny. How can you do this to me? Sorry, girl. I couldn't help myself. James is not only employed by a big construction firm, but he also has good look. I concluded that he was the one guy for me after evaluating everything. After all, all that remained was for me to convince him to share my feelings for him before requesting that he leave you for me. It seems that I will have my ideal husband in wedding. Therefore, you're informing me that the two of you engaged in a liaison behind my back. Now everything has become clear. James never told me the real reason why he called off our engagement. He immediately decided to end the relationship. So you're saying he left me because he was sleeping with you? What do you think? Men like to see a well-groomed, beautiful girl around them. You know, if you really cared for James, you would be pleased that he's getting married to me. Why in the world would I want you two to be hanging out at my expense? We were supposed to pick out some gifts for our guests today. Do you understand that we're getting ready for a wedding here? We'd already set up our honeymoon plans and we're even talking about buying a house together. And then... Without ever talking to me, he just decides it's over. How can you expect me to sit by and watch while you marry the guy I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with? And I'm sorry about that, but he chose to marry me. Besides, he already told me you didn't want to have a wedding, but you wouldn't let it go, would you? He said he didn't want to waste money on a wedding where he'd be forced to stand in front of a crowd of people. But what has that got to do with anything? Well, he just agreed to have a wedding for me. What? He agreed to that? Yeah. He said that since I was a woman he was marrying, it was worth it. James, the most anti-wedding person I know, promised you that? Unbelievable! This just goes to prove that marrying you wasn't as important to him as marrying me, in simple terms. His feelings for you don't measure up to how he feels about me. All of this serves as evidence that he loves you more than he ever loved you. I've never seen someone so audacious as to ask another person to plan and foot the bill for their wedding. Why on earth would I even think about doing that for you after everything you've said? Sure, but James is still the groom. So what's the issue? Besides, we've got three months until the big day. If you get started now, there's still time to make the changes, considering I'm the bride now. That's not the issue here. Everything is in James' name or my name. You realize we've even sent out invites with our names on them, right? It's no big deal, so who cares? Also, I spoke to James earlier. He said... You only invited a few friends and relatives, as well as a couple of people from work. 
That is all, right? Well, yeah, but. Well, since we have a lot of mutual friends, I can easily forward the invites to your relatives and colleagues. Then, I can invite some of my own relatives and a few extra friends to meet the minimum guest count. Making the invites as pink is straightforward, so I can handle that myself. We don't want to burden you too much, right? All we're requesting is for you to handle the wedding expenses. I'm not doing that. Also, if you're seeing James soon, tell him to reply to my messages. Let's all sit down and talk about this properly. We can talk about what to do from here on out. The wedding, everything. James said he doesn't want to see you. Whatever was going on between you and James is over. You must already have moved on from this. I can't believe this. How can you do this? Look, I'll be married before you from now on. You're getting what you deserve for attempting to outrun me with this. You should definitely just be silent at this point and pay attention to what the winner has to say. Both of you are bastards. Ava, hey, a long time has passed. This is the last step. Today will be the best day of my life. Are you prepared to make a purchase? The marriage has already ended. Huh? What are you referring to? The wedding is today. You are aware that you're responsible for paying for it, correct? Why would I spend money on a wedding that's unrelated to me? The wedding is already passed. What do you mean now? I have a groom. In fact, I think you already know him quite well. What? Someone I know? What are you talking about? The day after James left me, I went to the venue on my own. Since we had already made all the reservations, I thought it would be best to go and let them know that we were canceling the wedding. It was quite a coincidence that I bumped into him at the event. It felt like a stroke of fate. Fate? What are you talking about? Who? It turns out that David was the venue's manager. David? Do you mean Mr. Nerd David from college? That boring college guy that you've been dating? I can't believe he's changed like that. That's the same David from college. Honestly, I thought the exact same thing as you. There's no way that's David. I told him the whole situation when he came to me. He advised me not to call off the wedding, just to alter the date after I explained what had occurred. He then abruptly proposed to me after saying that I should marry him instead. Naturally, I was shocked, but I agreed. It's like the plot of a movie. It can't be true. When we spoke, the venue had just had a cancellation for last week. So about a week ago, we made the most of all my wedding planning and decided to tie the knot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Then what about my wedding? You're talking about the wedding you and James planned yourselves, right? No. We were supposed to use the wedding you had planned for you and James. You really have a lot of nerve. You sound absolutely stupid. I changed the date of my wedding too. I understand well that you expect me to just give you the time and money I spent preparing my wedding. Did you really think I would do it? Of course. You were the one who was supposed to pay for the whole wedding. I don't recall making any such promises. You didn't need to promise me you would do it because I told you to do it. That's why I called you and asked to talk so we could clear things up. You two were the ones who decided to ignore all my calls. Just to clarify, you're saying that the wedding you arranged happened a week ago? And we've only booked the venue? I went to the location, informed them I wanted to get married on the date you chose and chose my dress. The dress was the one thing I decided on by myself. Primarily because I was convinced it would be awful since you picked it. Did you sign the contract? 
Do you mean the document that I signed reversing your bride's previous name to mine? When you went to sign the contract, didn't you listen to the explanation they gave you properly? No. I was too busy thinking about what kind of ceremony you wanted to have. What about James? James said that women should officiate weddings, and he left all the planning to me. Consequently, he hasn't been involved in any wedding-related tasks at all. On a related note, I noticed a very attractive staff member at the venue, and he kept giving me glances. Was that David? Maybe I've told him everything. Seriously? He was so attractive that I wanted to talk to him. James was present, so I made the decision not to even attempt. I assumed he couldn't have made much money since he was also employed at the venue. When I could have acquired myself a gorgeous guy from an affluent family. Why did I choose the employee of a random construction firm instead? I mean, sure, James works for a large construction company now, but I'm pretty sure he's up for a demotion. Excuse me. What do you mean by that? Did he tell you he's being sent to a remote office belonging to a subsidiary of the construction company he works for? He didn't tell me anything. Why would he tell you this? What's going to happen to his salary? I don't know, but I'm sure he's facing a salary cut too. I mean, it is a small office in the middle of nowhere. To be fair, how do you know all this? Because I told James was all about the two of you and what the both of you did to me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for my honeymoon in Paris. Good luck with your super rich and successful boyfriend from the construction company. The talk isn't done yet. What about my nuptials? While I'm gone, my attorney will be in control. So speak to him if you want to talk about anything involving money or the damages you owe me. This isn't fair. That's life. Enjoy it. No. Hold on a second, please. Ava. Ava. I'm begging you. Please aid me in fixing this. You have to pay for the wedding. Aren't we friends? No one has ever done such an awful thing like that to their friend. We're not friends anymore. Wish you a good life, Sarah. I recently discovered that despite everything, those two ultimately decided to marry each other. It seems fitting that a manipulative witch and a greedy rat would end up together. However, their situation didn't turn out as idyllic as they'd hoped. I must mention that I managed to secure significant compensation through legal means from my ex-partner. As a result, they're now facing a challenging period in their lives. To afford lower rent, they relocated from the city to a remote area. And are currently leading a modest lifestyle as they repay me. I have no sympathy for their predicament, as I have been exploring various new experiences alongside my current spouse. Fate is an interesting thing.